Okie dokie everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. I've had several days off and whatnot, so fun. But we're gonna pick up this shiny now that I know exactly where it is. It's right over here. Yay! Okay, now we got that taken care of. Now a little side note here, besides the black omen zooming ominously in the sky there. This is the first in a series of optional side quests at this point in the game. Um, some of them can be done a little sooner than this. But technically, we could, we've could we done everything plot related that is required. And we can go take on Lavos right now, if we wanted to. There are several ways to do that, but I'm not going to do that because we're probably going to get our butts handed to us. And these side quests, you know, obviously you can level up, get a bunch of equipment, and get some insight on some character development and whatnot. So yeah, you can technically leave Corona dead if you want. Nor do you have to recruit Magus. So, yeah, you can actually beat the game with five characters, which is pretty sweet. But anyway, now that we've got the time egg from Gaspar to go revive Chrono, he said, go visit the one who crafted the Wings of Time. So, we know he's kind of, well, they never say he's dead, but it game pretty much all but implies that he did. But he copied his memory into the new, so let's see what he can do for us. And this is when we actually learn that Death Peak is indeed important. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're telling me? No. No, no, no. No. Yes, we've heard of him, you idiots. That's how we go we get in our kitties. But what the hell? Like... What? That, that just baffles me. Like, what? Like, how is he connected to Zeal now? Like, what? <laughs> Another mystery never quite explained. Alright, so let's head to 1000 AD. Because we know there's a big, fat, lovely millennial fair going on. That's what started this mess in the first place. Hey, hello there, Black Omen. Let's park it right outside. Park it. Park it. Oh yeah, sometimes the thing is fickle. Now off screen I did uh, get uh, accumulate more um, silver points, and I did end up getting two double techs for Marl and Frog in the pro in pro the process. But we're gonna um, obviously show those off a little bit later. Hey buddy. Now that we have the time egg, this dialogue is different. Now, well, the funny thing is, though... How should I phrase this? This cutscene becomes active once you get the time egg. You do not necessarily have to talk to new Balthazar to find out about the doppel doll to, to tell him you need one. So it's a tiny bit of a sequence break. I don't know if you call it a sequence break, but a little bit plot mistake. Now this is the 40 point silver game that I lost, like at the beginning of the game, and I said screw it, we'll come back to it. Well, this is why. And unfortunately, you can't play any other games until you finish this. And I'm probably going to screw this up. So you get the doll anyway, but you lose money based on, you know, how long you last or whatnot. Man, he's taking forever. Vegas is like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Face bomb. <laughs> I love how he does that. Alright, now I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Vegas has no surprise icon. Ah, oh, I always screw those two up. Eh, 10,000 gold, whatever. And he takes the doll to Chrono's house! Yay! Now, supposedly you can get dolls of other characters, too. But I've never actually done that, nor do I really care to. But anyway, since we haven't been home... Where's Mom? Oh, she's upstairs. Since we haven't been home in a long time, there's four kitties down here. And there's five up here. <laughs> so, yes. And obviously we need more cat food, but we'll get that off screen later. 
No, you didn't express this much worry when you found out he was supposedly being executed. It's only after he's actually died, but you have, but mom has no way of knowing that. <sighs> oh well, this game's weird. Dude, he's like 17. Or something. And they want to borrow the doll. Now, like I said, you can get this doll shipped to the house very early in the game, but I decided, you know, it's better off to do it now because it's better of, you know, the plot. Oh, shut up. Not really. Karno's mom is alright. But now we can have some new dialogue with her. Let's show Megas off to her. Oh, shut up. Oh, she won't say anything about Megas yet? Whatever. Oh, well. What the heck ever. Alright. Now that we've done pretty much nothing for the past six minutes. <laughs> besides play a game and get a doll. <laughs> Let's head back. You know, I'm actually not really fond of the epoch music. But whatever. And the music in this game is not bad at all, but... It definitely... This track is much better, in my opinion. Who keeps shutting these doors?! We float on up to new... Hi, new! Apparently I fit a double doll in my pants. Yes, I have it. Hmm, okay. Now the question is, how did Balthazar know what the hell... You know, how... You know, like, where did this whole time egg death peak reviving somebody who's at most importance come from? I, I, I don't really get it. I mean, I know it's just a game, but... I'm calling ass pull on this one. Hey, Poyo's the dolls! Awesome! And how did they know someone would ever need to go to Death Peak? If, if, if this is like a one in a million chance, then why waste so much effort? Why didn't you just fix the time machine and go home before you went insane? Well, then I guess, I guess the rest of us would be screwed, but oh well. Wait, 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 you want us to pull the plug on this guy? What? <sighs> All right. First you made the new one to a robot, and now you made us pull the plug. Nice. Oh. Balthazar really did go insane. Oh well. But now, Death Peak actually has a purpose for us now. Yay! Hey, little Poyozo doll. So now, a tree is going to appear here. And this tree is a pain in the butt because you have to be, like, exactly underneath it to actually avoid the wind. And it's not even, like, straight up. Damn it! Like, you have to go slightly to the right to get underneath it. Damn it, get underneath it, Magus! You have to have it, like, just right, and I hate this part because of it. No, get right underneath the damn tree! You would think they'd be able to, like, you know, if the tree's gonna block the wind, just grab onto the wind, and have a comedic effect where we're all, like, hanging on each other's, like, coattails and whatnot. No, get the freak underneath the tree. Oh, come on, I was right in line with that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. This is gonna be like a fail montage here. Here we go, now we got it, all right. So basically just make love to the tree until the wind dies down. And keep going. Oh, I forgot there were two trees. <laughs> This is like the 
freaking hardest part of the game, too. Damn, precision controls. By the way, I suck at platformers. Well, the ones that would really require skill. Like, obviously, I can beat, like, the regular, like, you know, Super Mario Brothers without a problem and everything like that, but... <laughs> like, anything else that, like, requires, like, like, platformers, like, nowadays. Like, the newer Mario games, yeah. Suck at them. Suck, suck, suck. Why does this have to be so friggin' precise? Why couldn't they make these trees bigger? Oh my god, I barely made that one. different music. Alright, alright. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. And I'm gonna make a save state. Because in case I have to screw up and have to redo this, I don't want you guys to have to torture with it, so. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry I have to resort to such drastic measures, but you know how it is. Alright, so let's show off some double tacks. Um, show off glacial freeze. By the way, Magus gets no double tax at all. Which I actually think is kind of cool because he's obviously not really much of a team player. As in the title of my last video, it's he's only really joining us because, well, you know the whole adage, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, I think that's pretty much his attitude here. You know, you know, one of those, you know, you can't beat him, join him. That doesn't mean he necessarily has to be happy about it. Alright. Maybe we have a chest covered in snow, magic ring, and these little doohickeys we can climb up. We can't get to that chest just yet. And we'll show off double cure just for the hell of it. And I put the battle system back to active, by the way. I love how during the animations it, like, stops snowing. And, like, the screen instantly brightens up. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Riddell, will you shut up? Wait, no, I just came from that direction. Okay. Yeah, I see nothing up there. Dead end. So we gotta climb up this way. Yeah, see, another screen over here, but we're not gonna go there just yet. Because we have treasure to get. Oh, wait, maybe I have to go... I have to OW! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have my feet on my chair and my... Like, sticking out, and my cat just stuck her claw in a sensitive spot in my foot. Oh, god, that was awful. I just looked at her and she ran away. She knows she's in trouble. She's been a pain she won't eat your food lately. Yeah, fire will take these guys right out, so. I want to get my treasure on the other map. Hey. Oh, and apparently they can sap you. Nice. I really wish I kind of took that silver stud off Chrono before he kind of got killed, but eh, I got plenty of healing items, so mm, not that big of a deal that Magus is losing a crap ton of MP. And you can barely see it, but there is a safe point right here. Barrier ring, don't really care about that. Whee! Alright, let's get back to doing what we're supposed to be doing. What? 
Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a level of spawn. Attack the head, not the shell. Ow, um, I might want to friggin' heal up. <laughs> that would help. And why not, let's do a double care. There we go. Yeah, so Magus can't really use his spells because the shell is going to retaliate if you attack it and it's going to hurt. So don't do that. Just focus on the head. And you can share him something good out of this. And if I'd realized I was going to experience one this soon, I would have brought Isla into the party. But that's okay, we can wait. Oh, let's taste Magus just for the hell of it. Because he's cool like that. And he's the fastest person we get in the party so far. Oh my god, I'm at 16 minutes. Oh my god, I haven't done anything. Yeah, let's have Froggy some text. Yeah! Stupid baby Lavos, take that! Eat this! Cat is being annoying again. I swear, like every time I start LPing, she's like sleeping, and then my voice just wakes her up. And she's figured out how to open my bedroom door, so I can't even lock her in anywhere. <laughs> now it's a frog heal again. No, oh, I attacked the wrong thing. Alright, now you get to see what it does. Whoops! Yeah. Don't do that. Ow! I might be in trouble here. Because I did something stupid. To hurry up and get turns. Okay, that only put her to sleep, so we're still good. Ow, oh, damn it, she's dead. If Frog lost a turn for that. Oh, what? The, oh, now Frog's confused. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's so terrible. Oh, frig! Oh, jeez! <laughs> All because I hit the button at the wrong time and attacked the shell instead. Yeah. Oh my god, I am... I'm blaming the cat partially for this one, too. Okay, she's breaking my focus, man. I'm... I'm... Oh my god, I'm being so terrible at this game. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... I'll just meet you back there, and I'll bring Isla into the party this time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the fail in this LP. The fail!